If a recipe calls for a clove of garlic, you're going to start off by finding the bulb of garlic and then you simply just take one of the cloves off like this. Now your first step from here is going to be taking the peel off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the knife, lay it on its side, just give a light press to it, and then the peel is going to come off quite easily and then you can just discard this. We actually want to keep the root intact at this point because we're going to lay it on its side. Um, you can cut off the very tip of that and discard that. And then what you're going to do is take a paring knife and we're going to be making horizontal slices through our clove. Okay, our next step is to turn it. Now we're going to be making vertical slices down. So it's basically keeping it together for the most part. And then we turn it to its side and get our chef knife out. And then you're just going to cut down the whole thing. Now if you find any small green pieces, you can go ahead and discard those because those will actually make your product somewhat bitter. Also keep a bench scraper handy so that you can get the garlic off of your knife to go back in if you need to mince it some more. If a recipe calls for crushed garlic, you can take a little bit of kosher salt, sprinkle that on top, and then again using the side of your knife, smash it down, and that salt is going to help break down the garlic. And again, using our bench scraper to put it back together. Now if a recipe um, calls for minced garlic and you would like to use a garlic press, you'll find these in your kitchens. Same process in terms of taking the clove off of the bulb. Again, getting the peel off using the side of your knife. Discarding the peel. And then this time you are going to want to cut your root off and your tip right away. And then your garlic press will open up. You place your garlic clove in the opening, close it, and then you smash. And again, the garlic is going to come out this way and you can use the scraper that is attached to it to take it off. Now to clean this, you can just open this up. This pulls up and then you should be able to just take it off like that.